Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Scorched Earth video. Today I am going to show you how I paint eyes on 1 18th scale heads. Uh, this is a pretty common question I get from folks. They always ask, hey man, how do you paint the eyes? Well, I'm about to show you. This is a cast from a good friend, Dennis Carborough of Level 7 Toys. As you can see, this figure right here is the original Boss Fight blank bald head that was sculpted beard and hair. And that's a finished figure. Alright, I've got a few samples here. Of some things I need to touch up and work on but you can get the general idea now my philosophy in doing eyes is I start with the whole eye area I do black first the entire thing okay hear me out on this let's get right to it Model Masters flat black paint. Okay. I use the, uh, basically, I use the cap as the work pot for a lot of things like this. You can also use like empty water bottle lids, especially if you're going to mix your own colors. Okay. First thing I do, since I am left handed, I do the eye that is most difficult for me to do, which is the left eye. Alright, so I go right in. It's okay if you mess up a little bit. You're gonna mess up. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or been doing this for years. Okay? There's always errors. You just gotta press on. Okay, and you can notice too, I'm using my, do what's comfortable for you when holding the brush and positioning positioning yourself I'm using my middle finger to brace and just getting a comfortable stance on this all right see what I said about messing up I got a little bit there there's gonna be eyebrows there anyway so that was kind of a good Good error if there is one. Okay. Now, sometimes you may need to go in with a second coat. All right. Okay. And when dealing with this small amount of paint on your brush, you're going to find out it wants to dry out really fast. So that's okay. You just go back in and keep your keep your brush wet, keep cleaning it. I have a I have a, a container over here with water and it's got a little bit of Dawn dish soap in it. But um, soapy water is the way to clean with an acrylic paint like this, okay? So there you have the black, all right. Now we're gonna go in with the white. I always shake up my bottles a little bit when switching colors, just to keep everything mixed up well. Now, Doing this white, I'm really going to put a very, very, very small amount of 
paint on the brush, just the tip. All right. See what I did right there? And naturally, when going over a dark color with a white, a lighter color, it could take a little bit, a couple of layers, because it may not cover that well on the first coat. All right. There we go. And you probably notice that uh, I may have gotten a little white on the um, the lower eyelid. But once again, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to correct that. Moving on to the eye that is easier for me to do the right eye now that I say that this is easier for me to do I'm probably gonna mess up but it's okay. another thing you may notice is I am I am scrolling around like what I need to get to I, I'm making it as easy for my left hand as possible to get to. So let's do a little bit more white, okay? Just a smidge. Boom. There we go, okay? I'm pretty happy with that. If you guys can see that, all right? Now. I always keep, this is just what I like to use, but I keep a razor blade around. You might be more comfortable with a, a scribe or some other pointed object, but like I said, this, uh, this acrylic paint is dry to the touch right now because, you know, acrylic dries really fast, but that doesn't mean that this paint's going to be fully cured. Like if you're, say you're painting the hair and this guy wants to wear a hat or something, I would at least wait 24 to 48 hours before I uh, felt comfortable leaving a hat on his head. Cause you could, you might say, oh, this paint's dry. He's ready to rock and roll. Let's put a hat on him. And you put it on and then take it off maybe the next morning or something and then Bam, it's, it get a little flaking or something. Okay, you see what I did on those lower eyelids? I just kind of gently scraped away. All right, I'm pretty happy with those eyes. What do you think? And there you have it.